the team is just like, what do we do now? I just... <laughs> We'll see how things turn out there. It's probably going to be Juggernaut in the safe lane for S4. Not the hero that I've seen him play too much, but still a solid. Safe lane's going to be a little bit weaker, so I need to make sure. They're actually putting lots of aggression on the Sedoi. Both of these heroes have boots. s is going in. He will get one more auto attack, and it's actually Kuroki who gets it. <laughs> and with the double boots on both of these heroes, they easily... Pretty quickly. And the, the damage from DZZ, Yol's helping out as well. They don't have a medallion. They don't need it. Let's check right. So yeah, they, they're going to clean up Roshan really quickly. And because RTZ TP's back top with... Uh, Puppy as well. This might be a trade. I don't even know if they can trade for this tier one tower. They'll four, and by the time Roche is gonna go down, they'll be able to TP up to the top lane to defend. They will do just that. Black hole onto BZZ, but that is the Aegis. That is the wrong hero to go on. Puppy, you might have just made a huge mistake. He'll get chased down. Meanwhile, S4 does get the kill on the old into the enemy jungle. Stampede hooks out on RTZ. He was TPing away. Sidori finds a Requiem. Get a cancel the battery. Salt the dance of death. RTZ is gonna fall as well. Turns into a two for one, I guess the age is so a two for two as Yol died in the jungle. But two heroes into the enemy jungle, they might find Yol rotating around the map into the mid lane. That would be a nice target. And they don't spot him out yet. I think they pinged on him. They might know that he's here. The rest of Burners Pro rotating hook shot onto Artizi. Has his BKB, he'll pop it. Requiem is gonna go. The Death Ward coming up. Big stop onto three. The Earth Spike onto two. They blow up three heroes. G is going to be the fourth to fall. He will blink away. Fisher comes out, stops the aggression. Jonam is spotted out. No, he'll be the fourth to fall. Enchant Totem, nice blade here from S4. That three-man stop from Zai. They lined up for him, and he just mows him down. Oh, man. More. However, they are going to smoke up. They have four heroes. S4 not in the vicinity. This might be bad. Uh oh yeah, the, the one scary thing and bad thing I think for VP is that this, the supports are so underfarmed. Oh, which is fine. they were baiting our TZ and Sidor gets blown up. All oh right. god. Are they gonna yeah. continue to fight? G gets oh, finger, god. he gets blown up. Now they're gonna fight. BZZ walks in. BZZ about to go down as well. G does. The black hole coming in. The death ward though, it gets canceled. The cast flying through. Laguna Blade blows up S4. Now the Echo Slam on his eye doing a lot of work, but G still getting low, getting right click down by the supports. They're pitiful right click, but it might be enough to get the kill. It will be. John up TPing away. Yol's gonna get out as well. They've lost three. Virtus Pro blink stop onto Yol. Kuroki finds him. The R Spikes are gonna come out as well. The double edge. And another huge fight for Secret. Oh my, what's happening? And these smokes, they are blazing it for days, these guys. Uh, <laughs> this is not healthy, I'm sure. BZZ is gonna head to the mid lane, can't find anybody, blink away. They they, they smoked under the ward as Mop Packs pointed out, thank you Mop Packs. Secret, see them, G's gonna jump in, BKB, suddenly the fight breaks out, Jotam gets jumped on as well, Omni slash onto BZZ, jumps over to Jotam, meanwhile the Blade Fury, BZZ gonna try to man fight, Battle Trance goes, S4 gets bashed I believe, Requiem on the high ground, it's a one for one, they've already lost Arteezy, Echo Slam, they will take down a couple of heroes, Kuroki with a finger, the right click comes out as well, when the dust settles, it's a four for two, it might even be a four, or a five for two, as Sidoi's gonna get caught out, Zai gets the stop up, the double edge, Finally gonna use it, the right click, five down. Invertus Pro, they lose all five. Secret lose both of their cores, they don't give a damn, because guess what? And the supports are gonna come up first, but they've used everything. It was actually really impressive Witch Doctor Holty. It did a lot of damage up. Killed off Arteezy. Imagine if, again, that was an Ag Scepter. It would have actually maybe even turned the fight. It was a very nice ulti, but just not enough. As the core Lina died, I think was the first one to die. Yes. Didn't cast her spells though, but just died first, and that's not what you want. Fisher on Desai, but they've already gotten the Rex. They've, they've got what they came for. Oh, here comes G. They have Black Hole. He's gonna pop it, Midnight Pulse, Black Hole. Oh, Zai's like, I wanna jump back in. Blink, stomp, maybe Earth Spike first. Stomp onto G, there's the Hex. G is gonna get double edge. Hookshot comes in a bit late. BZZ finally into the party. They're going one by one into this team, but I, I think Secret have already gotten what they came for. They've gotten two quick kills. And Kroki has already bought his axe, so even if he dies, he doesn't give a damn. He's probably going to fall as well. No point coming out the right click for BZZ. He does stick up. Ooh, might live. No, battle. Whirling axes plus the flare comes out. And Secret knows this is happening, but they're not going to be able to get there in time. Instead, Secret just run down mid with Arteezy and Puppy. Uh, they're wrapping around, actually. This might not be the best idea. They don't have their entire team here. Arteezy backs away. Zai's ready to blink stomp somebody. Hookshot first from Sedoi. Arteezy caught out. Laguna bladed. Arteezy about to fall. Stunlock pops his BKB at the end as well. All of a sudden, this fight not going the way of Secret. Puppy, no black hole. 
Kuroki or Spike. <laughs> this is <laughs> <under attack>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle it, man. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Find the best bang for his buck. Can't necessarily find a two-man stomp. They're spread out pretty well. Instead, he just goes running to BZZ. Meanwhile, Echo Slam goes. Laguna Blade. G trying to find S4. They're going to chase after him. He pops his BKB already. Requiem goes. Yolo taking some of that damage. Gets right click two times. Dies. Hook shot from Sedoi. BZZ jumps in. Black hole. On to two. Puppy bringing down the house. Four dead. Aegis expended for BZZ. Ortiz is about to go to work on him. Now there's the BKB, Kuroki's like, I already used my finger. They blew everybody up in those, uh, that pretty big black hole. Zai gets the double kill, four down, and now it's, I think, time for a secret to head down mid and try to finish this game off. Oh, God. I mean, what happened? It looked like they all got cogged in by Clockwork, which held them in place. I think to so. To set up an easy black Dyer's hole. I didn't see the, the beginning of that. I was watching, um, I was watching Dyer's G come, or get out the fight back. Double buyback coming here, but there's no buyback on the Lina. And that's really big. Yeah, I mean, the troll can do work here, but no Echo Slam. Hookshot is, well, he's got an Aghanim Zipper. No, he, he doesn't actually. He only has the one Hookshot to work with. Um, so they don't have anything, really. They're going to lose his racks for sure. This, this might be the end, honestly. The Ancient now exposed. There's going to be the Earth Spike. No finger. Kroki has to mana drain, but it actually gets cancelled. Sidoi so hook shots in and a puppy. That's probably not the target. The Death Ward going to work. Puppy about to fall. Artis is right click to BZZ. They blow up Oriole. Sidoi in trouble as well. He gets right click down. All five dead. GG called. And Secret, despite their disastrous start in the beginning of both of these games, it doesn't matter. They take both games handedly at about 30 to 40 minutes at each game and absolutely trounce with this mid-game mid lineup. They are now moving up to 4-1. and one. What a fun series, man. What a good game. I mean, you can see the strategy and play individual talent there is for VP. Like, Sadoi just crushed bottom lane. Absolutely dominated bottom